What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. This video is about what is the weight distribution on the front and rear tire of the vehicle. Okay, so without spending much time, let's start now. So first we are going to see the orientation of the car, that is how the car is placed. This orientation is the ISO orientation which is used for the vehicle dynamics. So here is your car, it's looking good. This is the CG location. The front, the horizontal one is called the X. The perpendicular one is called the Y. And the vertical one is called the Z. Okay, so these all are the positive directions. So X is called the longitudinal direction. Y is called the lateral direction. And Z is called the vertical direction. Fine. So the movement or the torque about the Z is called the yaw in anti-clockwise direction. The movement or the torque about the Y in anti-clockwise direction is called the pitch. And the movement or the torque about the X axis in anti-clockwise direction is called the roll. Fine. So now let's see the weight transfer derivation. We are going to first see the diagram, understand it, then we will move ahead for the derivation. Okay. I am considering the case that the car is going uphill. Fine. Basically the ground is making a small angle theta with the horizontal. So this is the small angle theta. Fine. The front weight transfer is WF. The rear weight transfer is WR. This is the front rolling resistance RF. And on the rear tire, the rear rolling resistance RR. Okay. Another force which is RA. This is the aerodynamic force. And one more force is here. This is FD. FD is the basically this force is the dragging or the pulling force. If uh, the car is pulling some trailer or a cart, then this force is acting. Fine. So this is a dragging or pulling force. So the vertical force W, which is the weight of the car, its component W cos theta and the another component W sin theta. Okay. So here one more force is acting. This is the D Lambert force. Basically, D Lambert force is the inertial force. So this will be equals to mass into acceleration and mass is given by W by G, which is weight by gravity. Okay, so here I have shown W by G into acceleration. Fine. This is the overall length of the vehicle. This is the wheelbase center to center distance. The distance from the front center tire to the CG is L1. The distance of the rear center tire to the CG is L2, the height of the CG is H, the height where the aerodynamic force is acting is HA, the height where the drag or pulling force is acting is HD, one more force is left here, this is the traction force, okay, so traction force is FF on front tire and FR on the rear tire, right, okay, so the front contact patch and the rear contact patch are shown by B and A respectively. I'm making some assumption here that cos theta is approximately equals to 1, theta is very small, R equals to FR into W, R is the total rolling resistance, H equals to HA equals to HD, okay, all heights are equal, fine. If you want to calculate the front rolling resistance, then RF will be equals to FR multiplied by WF and the rear one will be FR into WR, okay. So this will be the front end rear rolling resistance. Now let's check the derivation. So here is your figure and I'm balancing the, all the forces parallel to the ground. So W by G into A equals to FF plus FR minus RA minus R minus W sin theta minus FD. Okay. So the FF and FR are the traction force, right? And RA is the aerodynamic force. Here, R is the total rolling resistance. FD is the, the dragging force or the pulling force. So here I'm not considering it. So FD is equals to zero here. I'm not considering that the car is pulling or dragging something. Fine. So this is our equation one. Now I'm taking movement about the point A. Okay. So WF into RL, the clockwise, R into H, another clockwise. W sin theta into H clockwise, WG into AH clockwise. Okay, 
and uh, minus w cos theta into l2 this is in anti clockwise direction fine so from here we get wf this and uh, this is i am considering this equation as 2 only left and right iterations are there nothing else you can calculate on your own similarly the moment about b gives wr equals to this i am considering this equation as equation number 3 fine so on solving i'm going to solve these three equation together doing some iterations and finally we will get wf equals to l2 into w by l minus h by l multiply by f minus fr into w similarly wr equals to l1 into w by l plus h by l f minus fr into w okay so where f is equals to fr plus ff and r equals to rf plus rr f is the total tractive force r is the total rolling resistance fine so this is the very important equation for the weight distribution on front and rear tire note that f is the tractive force this force is limited by power and also the ability of the tire to take the load okay so this much for this video thanks for watching if you like my video if you like my content hit the like button don't forget to share my video with your friends and colleagues if you find the content useful and also subscribe to my channel Press the bell icon to get the latest updates. If you have any queries regarding this video, hit the comment box. And also, if you want to check my blogs on vehicle dynamics, softwares, automobile, the link is in the description box. You can use that link. Okay, till then, keep learning, keep exploring.